Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on the link. My name is Ernesto Priego. Today is Thursday 19th of March 2020 and I am recording this video from home in London, United Kingdom. You know, this video is not really scripted. I thought I would start this series of coronavirus diaries or video diaries, given that uh, I feel like I have had quite a lot to think about and uh, to say and I feel a bit frustrated with my inability to be able to blog more extensively about this or to blog at all. I've been quite busy uh, in the last week trying to move materials online for my own professional practice, for my own teaching and still devising strategies to move forward. Today until 10, 13, 23 a.m. Um, according to the Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Research uh, Resource Center, uh, according to their dashboard, which is online and you can find online for live updates, uh, there's been 2,219,427 2, confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide. That's 219,427 confirmed cases. Um, until that moment, 103 deaths in the UK and 65 recovered cases. That's where we are. Uh, many of us since last week, perhaps earlier, We've been trying to create more awareness about the need for more astringent social distancing measures. Um, I understand that the government strategy has been such that uh, we've tried, we have tried to delay, to contain, to avoid panic. I can see the positives of that. I also feel frustrated with However, with a lack of apparent seriousness with which, you know, the real scientific recommendations to keep social distancing has been taken by, by many. I understand many people cannot work from home. They do different things that rely on personal contact. And I am thinking of all these people, everyone, that may be you listening to this, seeing this, uh, you are not office bound, you do not work perhaps all the time on a computer or online, uh, or perhaps what you do cannot be just straightforward or more or less migrated to remote means. So what we are seeing I think is a radical transformation of how society has operated so far. I grew up in Mexico City and my experience of capitalism, my experience of geopolitics was defined by a polarization of the world between the so-called first world and the so-called third world, which were us. We had an idea of development that was linked to economic, technological, cultural development that was also rooted, we thought, in sustainability. We had an idea of ourselves, uh, of a nation that could not plan, that had to live day by day without savings, without insurance, without backup plans, or at least most, most of us. It is clear now that our paradigms, that our stereotypes of economic development and stability are being fully, or should be fully interrogated and exposed. Because it is clear to me that what we are witnessing is the total lack of preparedness, the vulnerability 
in which the advanced capitalism has been built on. There is really little provision for a dramatic change in social interaction, in the way the economy works, in the way we do things. The UK is lucky to seem to have rediscovered the magic money, the, the magic uh, money tree that Theresa May said was magical and non-existent. So apparently there are resources to help those that most will need it. We hope they are. These promises are fulfilled, are met, and those people needing help uh, to receive it. But not all governments around the world will be able to do this. And if things get as bad as they are getting, and we can predict that they will, uh, the economic crisis, the shock, will be huge. So I hope we are learning lessons about the need for more preparedness. Right now we are taking for granted the ability to communicate online, to keep uh, having constant updates, to, to, to operate machinery, to keep hospitals, police running, uh, mediated by robust or semi-robust informational networks the internet. We don't know what would happen if we are suddenly unable to do this. We are essentially in a scenario that we thought was, or some of us thought, would perhaps gradually take place in the UK at least once we left the European Union. And it is a double irony that, so for me, that many of us were so worried about Brexit, but also about, and continue to be worried about it, and continue to be worried about uh, climate change and the environmental crisis. And it seems to me that the world now, the planet, life as a concept, as a man general manifestation, is giving us a message. Uh, it is clear that the air quality is improving in many cities once people have stopped using cars so much or taking transport to work. Um, there will be an opportunity for the planet hopefully to recover from the negative effect that we humans have on it. I can see also that we will have to relearn how to interact. We will have to perhaps reprioritize Hopefully this opportunity, however critical and difficult, uh, may show us some positives and you know some positive lessons that make us reconsider how we've been doing things. Perhaps we will learn that some things that we thought were really important, that were absolutely essential, some processes or modes of behavior such as meetings in person, perhaps, or driving places, or taking place, uh, taking planes to places, or going to conferences, or I don't know, uh, things that we were used to doing as normal, maybe we'll start reconsidering how important they really were, if it is possible to do without them. I am not an expert in, epidemi in epidemiology, I've been reading scientific sources, uh, I've been following the news, I've been try, trying to take care of in the quality of the sources, or, you know, of, in the sources uh, of information that I read, um, and uh, it looks like it can be, you know, it is obvious that it can be modeled, that the future can be modeled. We know what is coming, so it should be possible to plan for that. There is something in the human brain, perhaps in the human heart, that makes us resist such potentially terrible realities, shutting down to perhaps the possibility of horror, 
of a very dramatic change. We want things to be normal. And uh, perhaps they will be again, but it seems to me that they can only be normal again in a completely different way and it's up to us to figure out together how to do that. We will hopefully make other videos like this. I don't know. Thank you very much. Stay safe, guys.